Traffic. Traffic. Airborne Collision Avoidance System. A CAS Overview. Definition. Concept and Implementation. Responsibilities for Pilots and Air Traffic Controller. Evaluation of Operational Use. Summary and Conclusion. Airborne Collision Avoidance System Definition Over the years, air traffic has continued to increase. The developments of modern air traffic control systems have made it possible to cope with this increase, whilst maintaining the necessary levels of flight safety. However, the risk of airborne collision remains. ICAR Annex 2 shows the official definition of ICAR. An aircraft system based on secondary surveillance radar transponder signals which operates independently of ground-based equipment to provide advice to the pilot on potential conflicting aircraft that are equipped with SSR transponders. Climb. Descend. Clear of conflict. Airborne Collision Avoidance System 2. Increases in air traffic operation have brought with them a greater risk of mid air collisions between aircraft. Airborne Collision Avoidance System is the conceptual solution that has been provided to reduce the risk of such accidents. Its accurate use, as a last resort tool, should ensure greater safety by reducing the risk of mid-air collision between aircraft when other means and methods of separation fail. ACAR is a general term or concept philosophy defined by ACAR, its implementation the operational equipment which complies with the ACAR concept, is known as TCAS. TCAS is developed and designed in the U.S. TCASI and TCASI are the only systems commercially available which correspond to the ACA requirements for ACA I and ACA I. Both ACA and TCAS share the same principles and goals. Situation in the world Europe, the carriage of ACAS 2 has been mandatory from 1 January 2005 for all civilian turbine engined aircraft carrying more than 19 passengers or with the maximum takeoff mass more than 5,700 kg USA, traffic alert and collision avoidance system, TCAS 2, has been mandatory in US airspace since 1994 for all civilian turbine engined aircraft carrying more than 30 passengers ACAO has recommended worldwide mandatory ACA to carriage, the 1st of January 2003 ACAS 2 version 7.1, also frequently referred to as TCAS 2 version 7.1, is mandated within European Union airspace from the 1st of December 2015 for all aeroplanes with a maximum certified takeoff mass exceeding 5,700 kilograms or authorized to carry more than 19 passengers, except unmanned aircraft. Traffic Alert and Collision Avoidance System Control Panel The purpose of the sensitivity level is to help prevent unnecessary alarms being triggered. It works by constraining the parameters under which the transponder interrogates other aircraft. In effect, it adjusts the dimensions of the theoretical protected volume around each TCAS aircraft. The sensitivity level is incorporated into the logic and is self-adjusting dependent upon the current aircraft altitude. It varies from 1 to 7, the highest level of protection. Stand by. Warm-up power is applied to the system, but it is not operational. The transponder does not transmit interrogations. Sensitivity level equals 1. On, test mode. 
Traffic advisories The transponder and TCAS are now operational but only traffic advisories are generated. TAR only will be indicated on TCAS display. Sensitivity level 2. Traffic advisories slash resolution advisories. The transponder and TCAS are operational and both RAS and TAS are generated. Sensitivity level 2 is selected when the TCAS aircraft is between ground level and 1000 feet above ground level as indicated by the radar altimeter. To determine the sensitivity level required above 2600 feet above ground level, the logic uses the pressure altitude indicated by the barometric altimeter. Sensitivity level 3 is selected between 1000 and 2350 feet. Sensitivity level 4 from 2350 feet to flight level 050 and so on up to sensitivity level 7 above flight level 200. In sensitivity levels 3 to 7, traffic advisories and resolution advisories are provided. TCAS Overview Traffic Alert and Collision Avoidance System is an onboard system designed to improve air safety by acting as a last resort method of preventing mid-air collision by recommending vertical maneuvers to pilots when a risk of collision is detected. Through antennas, TCAS interrogates the ICAO standard compliant transponders of all aircraft in the vicinity. Based upon the replies received the system tracks the slant range altitude and bearing of surrounding traffic. The data is passed through selection and display. Types of alert Traffic advisories aim to help the pilot in the visual search for the intruder aircraft, and by alerting him to be ready for a potential resolution advisory. Resolution advisories are avoidance maneuvers recommended to the pilot in the vertical sense, typically restricted to a range of vertical speed of 500 feet per minute. This is to prevent aircraft deviating too far from their cleared levels and producing further conflicts. Traffic, traffic. Assuming both aircraft are cast to and MODES equipped. The two systems can also coordinate their RAS via the MODES data link to select complementary resolution senses. Otherwise, TCAS2 can use altitude information from mode C signals to calculate RAS based on observations of the target aircraft's maneuvers. The time taken for TCAS to detect a risk of collision. Calculate an avoidance maneuver and communicate this to the crew Climb. via and RA is less than one Climb. second. Climb now. Types of alert. Transponders spend much of their time in listening mode, however. Each aircraft's transponder transmits its address once a second. This signal is called a squitter. On receiving this message, other transponders send the MODES interrogation to the address for altitude and position data. On receiving the interrogation the transponder transmits a MODES reply signal containing the required data to interrogating aircraft. On receiving this data TCAS knows exact altitude and can calculate approximate range and bearing of the aircraft.